one amendment one freedom of religion speech and the press rights of assembly and petition Co that means congress shall not make law respecting and establishing of religion or prohibiting the free exercise of the free exercise or of the press or the right of the people peace peaceably to as assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievance done amendment to right to bear arms a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed so yeah that means that uh, the militia staff thingy can you know have have guns and stuff for you know self-defense and no for killing self-defense yeah self-defense yeah so we a is that a bear oh yeah yeah so a bear can have arms you know bear arms just in the table yeah and talk 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 Joseph? Yeah, some, um... Mm. Yeah, bear arms. Just, you don't have to do it, you don't have to Amendment 3, Housing of Soldiers. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be described by law. So if they want to get in a person's house, they have to have a search warrant and stuff. They can just go like, knock knock, let them in and stuff. I don't care who you are, just like, take out the gun. I um, want hit the door. I'm coming in. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's amendment number three. Ow! Don't shout. For the amendment, the right of the people to be secure in the press in their person, houses, papers, and effects against the and reasonable searches and scissors shall not be violated, and no warrant shall shall issue, but upon probable cause supported by oath or informa information. Uh, yep. And particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. And that's the Fourth Amendment. Now blow up the base. The Fifth Amendment, Grand Jury. No person shall be held to answer for capital or otherwise in famous crime unless a presentment or indicatement of a grand jury, except in cases arising in land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any cr criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be provided of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall be private property to be taken for public use without just compensation. compensation. Yep. Seven.
Good combination. Ah. Of sixth in a uh, seventh amendment in suits at common law where the value is uh controversy shall exceed twenty dollars the right of trial by jury shall be preserved and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the united states than according to the rules of common law yep common law What's with the guilty, CJ? Guilty. What's with the guilty? Seriously. What's with the guilty? <laughs> That's your knee. Eighth Amendment. Um, Eighth Amendment states then that excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fine imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishment inflicted. So they can't do harsh punishments like you know, you know, just harsh punishment. The Ninth Amendment is a constitution safety net intended to make clear that individuals have other fundamental rights in addition to those listed in the first through eighth amendments. Yeah, so the enumeration in the constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage other others retrained by the people. <laughs> uh, the Tenth Amendment uh, defines the balance of power between the federal government and the state. The amendment says that the federal government has only those powers specific specifically granted by the Constitution. It, this power may include the power to declare war, to collect taxes, to regulate interstate business activities and other ones. Yep. <laughs>